Telegram, a communication software made for Android and iOS. But what if I... How is it going guys? Talking that dude here with a new video. So today I am going to tell you that Telegram is officially coming back on Windows Phone 7. As I've made a Telegram client especially for Windows Phone 7. So to start everything off, we will need to log into our Telegram account. And right here, we will need to enter the phone number with country code. For example, right on the screen you can see plus one is for USA and you will need to enter the numbers afterwards or else it won't be working well. Alright, so here is after I have input my phone number and it requires to enter a CAPTCHA code which you will need to follow the screen as you can see right here is the code and type the following number according to the CAPTCHA code and then press the submit captcha button and then wait for it to redirect to sms verification screen so here is after i have verified with my captcha code and as you can see sorry if i prefer my phone number because i don't want it to get exposed for safety reasons of course and you can see the slot for entering your sms code you just need to check your telegram and copy the code uh, sent by the Telegram official account and then type into your Windows Phone 7 device and that's all and here it is the working Telegram client on Windows Phone 7 actually this client got many features that have been built for a really long time for example like the group icons the contact section which is allowing you to sync with your telegram contacts and of course the search bar as you can see uh, the top text box is used for searching groups so let me demonstrate the functions not forget to mention it also have a live tile function which it will be displaying the unread message in telegram making you have an easier experience to let you know how many message you have unread in your telegram as you can see how smooth it is in my telegram client and it is 100% free and you no need to pay any money for these clients so here is a so here is a demonstration if I have clicked on one of the group. So right here, I have choose the Windows Phone 7 group, which I will also be linking this group in the description because I will be posting new contents and also new applications in that group. And as you can see right here, it is loading messages. Due to the low RAM usage on Windows Phone 7, it might take some time. As you can see, it was already mentioned in the text or it might be uh, infecting due to the network speed and right here if we click on the application bar you can see there is chat info and clear history chat info is actually built in for displaying how many message and also the group name and also the group infos clear history is to be used on refreshing the group message and it is really easy just as same as the refresh button all right so right here it is a working telegram client which actually shows message from my group member and as you can see right here if you scroll a bit up you can see i have already tell everything right here and my coding tutorial the hyperlinks are working and you can see if we keep scrolling right here the red is flying right here but uh, one thing to mention because of how uh, Windows Phone 7 no longer supports uh, hyperlinks that means uh, when you're trying to click on the HTTPS hyperlinks it will be opened in Internet Explorer but it won't be displayed properly due to the HTTPS service does not support Windows Phone 7 and another feature I would like to demonstrate is the search function for example, if I want to search my Windows Phone 7 group I just assume if I don't see it 
we just need to click on the search bar and type Windows give it a second phone 7 there we go this search function is actually working perfectly which means if you want to search a chat list just use the search bar and the last feature I would like to explain last but not least settings so in the settings we actually have many things to customize let's start from the basic right here here's the clear catch button which allows you to clear the catch from the app which means if you if your app is encountering any like crashing issues or the chat isn't loading or the messages aren't displaying properly just press this button to fix and then the font size as you can see here you can adjust it chat settings and notifications and the most important thing theme well this type is actually designed for users who don't like dark theme so for using blue theme as example because this is the telegram default theme i've ported from the old app if we click on it it will say theme change to blue so we just need to press ok and return there we go so if we need to reopen the app as the settings have mentioned there we go here is a blue version of telegram aka metagram 7 and as you can see this blue background has been implemented in the app which means your chat will also have like you can see right here the ui is changed to the blue theme as it is going to also uh trying to match the color theme in telegram as you can see the text also has changed to blue well guys thanks so much for watching this video and i hope you like my revival contents on windows phone 7 because this telegram client is really hard to build like not as easy as i thought and uh, be sure to click on the like and subscribe button and comment your thoughts below of course uh, if you still please feel free to join my revival group